guys, so this is going to be another post in my vlog series, and this is going to be my pre fight thoughts and predictions for UFC 128, Shogun v Evans. Um, when looking at the fight, you know, there was two fights that really jumped out at me. That was Shogun v Evans, obviously, and Mirko Krokot v Brennan Schaub. Now, the Schaub Krokot fight, I think it's going to be a standing at war. Now, Schaub, he is, you know, 7 and 1, he's only lost to Roy Nelson, but. You know, that can be excused. Nelson's got good hands and anyone can get clipped. And every fight that he's had, apart from his latest fight, he's finished in the first round by either knockout or TKO. His latest fight against Gabriel Gonzaga, he went the full three five-minute rounds and he ended up picking up the decision victory. Uh, Gabriel Gonzaga obviously beat Krokop four years ago now, 2011, and became the number one contender. But he's not at the same level that he was four years ago. No one's arguing that you know, Gonzaga's that level anymore. But still, a victory over him is a good win for Schaub, and he's been fighting some good competitors. Uh, on the other hand, we've got Krokop, who's 27-8, and 2-1, and one, and that's a lot of fights. Not only that, he's fought in K1, he's fought am uh, amateur boxing, so, you know, Krokop's got a lot of experience. Saying that, he's taken a lot of shots, and I think Krokop's reaching that point now where that experience is starting to work against him, and rather than it being just the experience, it's also the nagging injuries, it's also the lack of the chin, and it's also A's just catching up with him and slowing him down. His last fight, you know, against Pat Barry, he got rocked twice in the early round, and if Pat Barry had been, you know, more able to pull the trigger and dive on him rather than let him stand back up, I think, you know, Krokop could have been stopped in that fight. Then after that, you know, we've got the unimpressive fight against Frank Mir, where he ended up getting knocked out by a knee, which really wasn't that technically good or hard-looking. So, really two unimpressive fights by Krokop, and if Pat Barry hadn't just waited and not pulled the trigger, then we could have been looking at a Krokop here with two losses to his name. You know, a lot of the UFC guys really haven't seen the best out of Krokop, though. He obviously was... And still is K1's level striking, you know, his technique's good, he's got good strength. But his real dominance was in the Pride days, you know, winning the open weight Grand Prix. And those were hardcore. Like, just fighting back to back to back and coming out on top. You know that guy's tough when he can do that. And he obviously had that great war against Fedor for the title belt, which he eventually came out losing. But, you know... Crow Cop's built a big fan base about the hardcore MMA fans. And I'm a big Crow Cop fan, you know, whenever he's fight, I always join the war wagon. But I don't think he can do it this time. I'm hoping he does. But he's just, he's not showing the same ability that he was when he was younger. If the old Crow Cop turns up, then forget about it. It's a whitewash. Crow Cop wins, knockout victory. But right now, I'm thinking it's going to stay on the feet. These two guys are going to meet in the center of the octagon and they're just going to throw. And unless Croker gets lucky and clips him, I think Brandon Shop's going to come away with a KO victory. You know, maybe second round, maybe deep into the third. Krokop showed a lot of signs of gassing in the Frank Mir fight, which I don't think, you know, Shop's going to work in his conditioning. And I think he's not going to gas before Krokop. So, you know, the later the fight gets, I think Shop's going to have a victory. It could go a distance, but I'm thinking KO for Shop. So that's my prediction. We'll see how that one goes. Uh, next, we've got Rashad Evans v. Mauricio Shogun Hua. Uh, Rashad, obviously, you know, a big, big name, uh, Ultimate Fighter veteran. Uh, sorry, the, yeah, the Ultimate Fighter. He is 15 1 and 1. Uh, obviously, he's only lost being Sir Leo Machida after he won the title belt from Forrest. Um, Rashad's got a lot of, you know, Titles to his name. He's got the knock. He's got a lot of knockouts tonight. He's got a lot of fights tonight. He's got knockout of the year though. That was over Chuck Liddell. So not really that impressive when Chuck Liddell was on his downfall. Obviously Chuck Liddell's still a good guy, but he was getting knocked out left and right in the end of his career. So we can't really put too much emphasis on that. That fight against Jackson, you know, Rampage. He had Jackson hurt. He let him up. Uh, let, let him get away with it. Really, I think he could have finished him. And Rashad really impressed with his ability to recover. You know, Jackson was trying to finish Rashad in that fight. He got he had he had Rashad really hurt, but he stuck in there. He managed to survive it and kept his composure. And that was really impressive. Uh, on the other end, we've got you know uh, Mauricio Shogun Hua. Uh, 
a black belt in jiu-jitsu that's a bit neutralized though with Rashad is great 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 wrestler and a great 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 jiu-jitsu guy so I don't think Shogun's jiu-jitsu is really going to help him in this fight I think what will help him though is his kickboxing ability Shogun's got crazy kicks and his striking his technique is perfect if Shogun can you know, land some of those leg kicks work, uh, work with Rashad's legs like he did with the Machida fight then I think Shogun has a chance of winning. If Rashad can take his fight to the ground, though, I think that's where he has the best chance. Gain side control, maybe not even look to passing and gain the mount, maybe just stay in side control and ha land some hand fist, land some blows. Make Shogun work, you know. Put We saw in the uh, Forrest Griffin fight that Shogun's cardio was a bit lame, but I think that was a long time ago, and I think he will have worked on it really hard since then, and he obviously has worked on it really hard, and he was coming away from knee surgery then. So I don't think Shogun's going to gas, but, you know, just leaning on Shogun, leaning on Shogun, using that wrestling ability that Rashad has, is going to do nothing but help Rashad. Um, Shogun's way to victory here is just to keep it standing, keep throwing kicks, keep throwing punches, do what he did with the Machida fight. If you didn't see the Machida fight, I'm talking Machida 1, and to a lesser extent Machida 2, you know, obviously Machida 2 was a good fight for Shogun, he managed to knock Machida out, which was his first time she has ever been stopped or defeated. So that's a great fight. But look at the Machida one fight. Just five rounds of constant action, constantly just peppering Machida. Just a real great kickboxing ability. And it was good to see. So, conclusion. The way for victory for either fighter. Shogun, keep it on the feet. Rashad, take it to the ground. I don't think Shogun's going to win. Um, knockout, third round. But failing that, you know, if Rashad can get on top of him, then this is going to be an interesting fight. It all it depends on how it goes. You know, Shogun's got good takedown defense, so we'll see. I'm pulling for Shogun. I'm a big Shogun fan. I want to see him, you know, keep the belt for a long time and just change the division. You know, clear out a couple of guys and really be a dominant champion like he was in the Pride days. Two and again, you know, Shogun was a beast in the Pride days. You know, with the winning the Grand Prix fights and just knocking people out left and right. So this is an entertaining fight. You know, Shogun's getting back to the battle days, and I hope he keeps it up. So that's me, YouTube. I'm out. Leave comments, subscribe, like the video. Doesn't matter if you like good, bad, good comments, bad comments. Just anything to help me get better. Anything to make the channel more popular, make it grow. Any suggestions, please just tell me. I love it. Thanks for that, YouTube, and I'll see you around.